I finally understand that I have been making videos related to Tailwind CSS, but I have never taught you how to use it. So let's handle this. Well, firstly, let's explore what is Tailwind CSS. Well, Tailwind CSS is utility-first CSS framework for rapid web development using pre-designed utility classes. According to installation, in your React app, open the terminal, and then put these codes with clicking Enter in the end. Or follow these five stages of installing in just HTML project that you can see in Origin Tailwind CSS web page of installations. Well, then let's move on coding. Open UVS Code, then click to Extensions icon, search Tailwind CSS IntelliSense, and install this. With this extension, ULOT can get instant class suggestions, auto-completion, and documentation for faster, error-free development. So, let's do some practicing. For this, I would recommend to open Playground in Tailwind official web platform. There is our P element, so let's try to change the color of this text to green. But, as you can see, there are diverse of colors, from lightest to darkest. Then. Let's make text larger, and for this, we should write down three extra large. Well, for making text bolder, we should write font bold. If there would be some difficulties in understanding meaning of classes, you could hover to them in order to see proper CSS codes like these ones. Well done! You almost complete your journey. If you are going to have problems in Tailwind CSS, you can easily quickly search it by clicking to input here or by pressing the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus K. Well, then let's search, for example, background. And there you could see background size, background repeat, background position, and origin. Let's click to background image. There we go. Here utilities for controlling background images like guidance of gradient colors here. And even adding BG images with Tailwind CSS in two different ways, like in one of them is using URL of image inside of square brackets. Then, with documentation in Tailwind, you could easily learn by your own other utilities, such as hover, focus, and active effects, resizing, flex, and grid boxes, and even prepared animations for your website. In general, I didn't teach to Tailwind CSS. I taught you to learning strategies not only for Tailwind CSS and for other programming technologies, as well as there cannot always be suitable tutors, and technology is updating and videos are becoming older and worthless. However, this self-guidance will help you every time because professional developers are learning from just documentations without any support. Well, for keeping practicing in Tailwind CSS, I would recommend you this video. The link is in description of the video or here in the top of the video. Keep practicing and never gave up. For today, that is all from me. Do not forget to subscribe and like the video to support me and other peoples who are seeking guidance in Tailwind CSS.